hike and my body just needed a little bit of, of, uh, support after my active, (laughs) my active run. Um, so, and then, you know, all the, I think through, through any season, something for my gut or for my liver. So I'm in the summer months really enjoying our everyday detox shizandra berry tea. So again, Mm -hmm. you're getting that shizandra berry, which has that that stimulation for your palate, the bitter and the sour in there. And you're also getting the other herbs in there like nettle and hibiscus and goji berry. And that's also really, they're, they're tonifying for your system and very supportive of your liver. So um, it's, it's a fun, fruity, tangy one that I like for the summer as well. I love it. And I will add that, um, you know, thinking about like what you need and being intuitive with what you reach for is, is just such a beautiful thing to cultivate. You know, Mm -hmm. I think the more in tune we are with our own individual health, the more we kind of understand what it needs and flavor can help to really dictate that. I think you know, you mentioned bitter and sour for gut health also. And I'll tell you that um, bitter also lends itself to cellular cellular renewal. So really feeding your, your cells at the point where you are, you know, you're thriving, you're actually preventing the aging process. So mm-hmm. I would just really encourage people to cultivate those flavors because I think innately, having a taste for bitter or sour or, um, you know, maybe even sometimes umami is something you have to cultivate. And that happens from eating those foods that lend themselves to great health. And then also the getting these herbs in a, maybe a tea form that can help to sustain that. So Mm -hmm. Um, we like to say, show us your bitter face, just (laughs) own it. (laughs) I love that. And sour too. Like pucker up. Baby. It's, okay. yes. it's all right. Well, Amber, this has been so helpful. I really appreciate you sharing your knowledge with us about herbs and ways that we can boost our own immunity, whether it be through, you know, actually, you know, drinking teas or taking these herbs in different ways and just bolstering our own health. I think this journey is very important for people if they haven't started on it to put their foot in because disease is not going away. Viruses are not going away. In fact, we're, we're going to be rounding the corner into the fall and winter months. And so I think armoring up beginning right now is, is a really smart move. So thank you for sharing your wisdom. Oh, you're welcome. And if I'll just add one more thing too, about the benefits of herbs is you, they're all, they're often multifunctional. So uh, chamomile, I want to bring this one up, especially as so many of us might be worried about the state Mm. of the world right now. Um, Chamomile is a cross-functional herb, you know, so while it, uh, I think most of us know about it as something that's great for relaxation, um, but it's also great for the digestive system because it does contain bitterness in and of itself. Mm. Um, Mm. So that's one where... Where if you if you notice that you happen to be the worrier that feels it in your gut, you get that you get that feeling that you know something might be happening that's not going to be the best for you, or you just worry about the state of affairs or your loved ones. You get the butterflies in the tummy. Mm. Chamomile is perfect to help digestion and support calming relaxation. Mm, so many so, good just so many good things out there. And <laughs> and try different try different formulas, try different combinations and and then maybe just switch them up. And I think having, you know, um, I have a little tea container. I just put all my bags in there and then I just kinda switch it up with my mood, you know, switch it up with what I what I enjoy and what my body feels like it needs. And that's sort of like my, my kitchen, my kitchen Mm -hmm. uh, pantry item. So your apothecary, (laughs) my apothecary. I love it. Thank you again, Amber. You're welcome. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Hey, thank you so much for listening to this week's episode. I know you have a lot of choices out there of what to listen to, what to watch. So it means a lot to me that you're here with me. And hey, if you love this content, would you hit the subscribe button? I want you around. I don't want you to just show up for one episode and leave. I want you here, part of the conversation, a seat at this table. And while you're at it, would you share this with your friends and family? 
And if you take a screenshot and share it on your social media with a hashtag RFYBL for recipes for your best life, I'll make sure to personally give you a shout out and you may just be featured right here on the show. So until next time, here's to living deliciously and being the chef of your best life.